Stage three, it's likely to be where we find out who is going to win the Abu Dhabi tour. Long day and a tough one, especially the last few kilometers, as you'll see. Jabel Hafit is where we are going, out into the desert, and then the biggest incline in this nation. I said there's some uh, splits have been occurring. It has come down rather dramatically, the time gap over the last 10 or 15 k's. 20 k's to go now until we reach the foot of the Jabel Hafid, which is going to take them in the region of 25 minutes because Team Sky seemed determined to set a very high pace on the run into the finish today. And it looks as though Carlos Verona of Team Orica Bike Exchange is determined to go for a long one here. 25 seconds now the gap, it's, uh, it's significant. It is significant. So Verona has been caught by Kangert and also by Nico Roach. Not necessarily over for Carlos Verona. I well, it looks like Debesay has decided that he's going to go on the attack wow. on the left-hand side of the road. They've got another what, about one and a half kilometres before they get to the slightly lesser gradient. So it's still around about 20 seconds between these two. Great riding from Debesay. Just to, can only wonder what he'd be capable of today had he not done so much work on the front the last two days. Look at this. And uh, even his teammates up there as well. Uh, terrific performance by Can Get. I'm afraid that Nicholas Roach, too much time in the Flatlands. Uh, he'll probably say that at the end of today. It looks like it's not going to be him. Well, constantly we think we've uh, we, we've in mind at least one or two potential winners, and then all of a sudden uh, the terrain just starts to uh, have a huge impact. It's the heat as well. Uh, there's your Flam Rouge. So just a kilometre to go. There's this little dip that we keep talking about. Then a pick up to the line. And Tano Kenga is heading for glory. And that number in the top left-hand side of your screen is going to tick down oh. very, very quickly now for wow. this Estonian rider from Astana. You can see the finish line there in front of you. He's just got to negotiate this final left-hand turn. And I'll be bound down, Lloyd. He's going to take the title here. Yeah, what a ride by Tanel oh. Kanga. As we said, he doesn't often get the chance to ride for himself, but he's taken that chance today, and he's won the stage. He's won the stage. He is the leader, and I think he's going no. to be the champion. Absolutely superb. Tanaga Gert takes the day by a margin of 17 seconds plus the 10 second bonus we remind you on uh, the bulk of the field. Six seconds bonus for uh, Nicholas Roach, Debeze uh, picking up the minor bonuses with uh, Ulisi Contador rounding out the top five. Can Gert owns this race, he owns a leader's jersey as well. He leads overall by a margin of 21 seconds. He's our champion in waiting on tomorrow's sprint stage. Uh, Lucy in uh, third place, Nibali Contador, that's how it spins out. Jesper Hansen rounding out the top ten.